Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, it is daytime. We can do a bit more exploring. Hopefully find maybe some surface iron or just something really easy like that or maybe even a cave. We can get started with some caving. I honestly don't know what I'm going to, uh, what I can expect from this. It's going to be super exciting, whatever it is. Okay, um, let's have a look around here. I love how green jungles are in Minecraft. It's just so nice looking, especially with all this water around. And there's some more of those really nice decorative stone types. Um, I think that one is the granite. That's the, the weird sort of pink color is the granite. Um, so we're gonna get some of that, probably not a huge amount. I don't see myself building loads of stuff with this, but let's have a go. Um, right, let's grab some of that. That's cool. How much of that do we have? Six. I always want to get stuff in stacks of eight. It's just a, it's a Minecraft thing. I know it's, it's one of those things where, uh, you cook stuff in eights, you build stuff, you get stacks in sort of 64. And it just seems like eight is one of those numbers that you have to use a lot of in Minecraft. Um, going to get some more regular stone as well, because goodness knows we will need a great deal of stone in our time here. Um, I kind of want to explore this jungle, but I kind of want to go back and see if we can get anything else out of this spruce wood forest because I want to get a good idea of what's around me before I decide which way to go, where to set up a permanent base, that kind of thing. Um, but we've got a bed with us, so we can pretty much sleep wherever we want and do what we want to. We've got melons, which is awesome. Um, so it means we have something a little bit more healthy to eat than all of this cooked chicken. And we now have a ton of dirt that we're collecting along the way as well. Okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah, I really wish I could get those vines. I, I'm desperate, desperate to get a banner. That is one of the things I really, really want to do in PC Minecraft that you just can't do in Xbox. And obviously it's a recent feature and it might come to Xbox at some point in the future, but you never know how they're going to do these things. And it is really awesome that I get to be able to make... My, I, I've been testing it out online. Like I've, I've found banner editing programs and stuff and I've just been mucking about with stuff. I have a couple of designs that look really cool. Been able to make them in creative, obviously, but I just want to get the resources in a survival game. I build so much stuff like in I, in my Xbox career, I guess you could call it, of playing Minecraft. I build so much stuff in survival. Like I barely build anything in creative. I don't know. Survival just somehow feels more, I don't know if worthy is the right word. This looks like an interesting kind of cave. Um, Better make some torches. Do I have some torches already? I don't. Okay, let's make some of those. I know I didn't like, pop down a crafting table to make some torches. This is just me being totally new to stuff um, and wanting to be extra prepared for what's ahead. Um, so yeah, when I navigate caves, I always put torches on the left. That's just a thing I do. So I will hopefully not get lost in here and hopefully not encounter any mobs too soon. Or if I do, I'll be able to handle them. And I should probably be using my stone pickaxe now, to be honest. Like, let's get rid of this wooden one. Ha, huh, I don't need you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably regret throwing that away in a minute. Or I'm just going to pick it up in a minute because it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to lie on the floor for the next five minutes if I don't pick it up. Um, right, so we're getting loads of coal, which is great. I really wanted to get a bunch of coal early on. And hopefully, hopefully this day we can find some iron, which would be great. That would be really, really cool. Um, so we can get started on armor. We can get started on better tools. And yeah, let's let's build ourselves a base. I, I really want to, <laughs> I kind of want to go nomadic and just find like the perfect location, but I know I'm not going to find it and I'm always going to just keep looking. So I think it's probably best if we just, yep, I've picked up the wooden pickaxe again. Great. Uh, <laughs> it's probably best if we just find a place now, stick with it and then go out and explore some more later. Are we going to meet our first monster in this cave? Place bets now. I haven't found anything yet, and this looks like a dead end, so I guess we got lucky this time, but you never know, there's all kinds of stuff out there. Um, let's let's get all of this coal, let's just do it now. <laughs> for the experience, for the fact of having fuel, for more torches, because I'm nearly out of torches. And I'm probably going to run out of all kinds of stuff during this playthrough. Um, all the levels will probably be wiped off me at some point by some hideous creeper or a witch or something like that. Um, but yeah, we will find out. The music is coming in as well, which is lovely. Okay, let's let's just not bother crafting anything with the coal until we're out of here. Uh, right, let's get all of this. Oh 
I'm just going to leave some of that there. I don't need all the coal at this stage. <laughs> um, I really just want to explore. I just want to find a place to set up. I'm not seeing a great deal of sites that look super awesome right now. And obviously I have that sand from earlier, so I can always... Oh, that looks like another cave. Cool, shall we explore this? Okay, let's let's make some, some more torches. Let's just do that now. Going to need them. Yeah, I do... Like I said, I don't want to be kind of super picky about setting up my first base, but I really want to find somewhere that's just just right, just has like the right balance of stuff and a location that's just interesting enough that I want to come back there and that I know I'll be able to find it again. Because Infinite Worlds just blow my mind slightly, and the fact that you don't have a map right away means it's going to be kind of difficult to find my way back to somewhere if I don't know intimately what it looks like or if it doesn't have some kind of like defining feature. So. I'm a little bit hesitant to build my base right out here in the middle of the woods at the moment. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, let's get out of this cave. There's obviously nothing great in there. I kind of want to find my way out of this spruce forest. Like, I really love spruce wood as the like the colour of it and everything. It looks really nice. I'll find some more chickens and sheep. Hello, sheep. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna go over here to eat this chicken. I feel slightly embarrassed eating a chicken in front of a chicken. Uh, but there we go, there's an egg over there. I'm just gonna have to grab everything right now. There's like a trail of eggs, and you'll know us by the trail of eggs. <laughs> right, and we've got a bit of a mountain here. This looks like it's leading to extreme hills, which is cool. You know what, I don't have a great deal of cobblestone right now. I've got 20, which is okay, but I'm just gonna gather a little bit more. And we're getting a little bit of block lag, which hopefully shouldn't be too much of a problem in these videos. But like I said, the PC is not going to be coping with huge amounts of stuff. And that's why we're playing vanilla as well. Like, I love vanilla Minecraft. I could play it all day. I, I really want to try some modded stuff out at some point, but vanilla will keep me going for a long, long time. Um, obviously, like, I want to try out some of the more interesting stuff people can do with vanilla. I know um, <laughs> Kane is actually talking about making a Skyblock series which I'm super excited for. I might even have started by the time this video gets live because I have absolutely no... What is this place? Okay, nothing really generates like this in Xbox Minecraft. This looks like a kind of like high plateau kind of thing, but it's all stone, all of this. And sheep are just hanging out here for no reason because there's no grass. There's like one weedy little block of grass and that's not even the type of grass they can eat. I don't, there's, there's just tons of sheep here. Wow, okay. <laughs> I am probably going to have to come back here and harvest all the wool I can at some point, but I really want to get shears before I do that because I don't want to just waste the poor sheep. Okay, this looks like it could be a ravine of some kind. Let's check it out. It's not like super ravine -y, obviously. It's not like... That is slightly more ravine -y. Okay, okay, let's see what we can get out of this. This is looking kind of promising, I think. I don't know if we're at the right sort of height or whatever to, to get iron. There is our first mob. It's a skeleton. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Ah, I still got my wooden sword out. That's probably a mistake. Yes, monster hunter. Thank you. And I got a little weird sort of wind noise kind of thing from that. Was that like, does that happen when you get achievements in this? I don't even know. Um, okay, so yeah, we don't have our stone sword out. That was our first mistake in that fight, having slightly less attack damage than we could have, but I think I handle myself pretty well. I like to think I'm not the worst when it comes to combat. I'm definitely not the best either. And I know a lot of people say like say that at the start of their Let's Play series when they do Minecraft, like I'm not the best builder, I'm not the best fighter kind of thing. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not either of those right now, but I haven't had a chance to prove myself. And I think that is something that I'm really looking forward to doing is just proving to you guys what I can do, what I can build and yeah hopefully having a really good time while we're doing it. So uh, if you'll put up with me for a few more episodes, then I'll, uh, I'll show you what I can do. That's a promise. That's a promise from me to you. That's the, uh, that's the business side of things talking right now. There is some iron. Fantastic. This isn't going to ambush us right now. We don't have a dead end that's going to spawn creepers into our base. So is that just going to give me three blocks of iron? Is that all we're going to get? Well, you know, three, three is not a bad number. Three is going to get us a pick. Uh, three could get us a bucket if we really need a bucket, um, and it looks like there's a bit more of this cave to explore, so I will try and get around it. That is looking interesting. Um, looks like we've got a bit of extra stone here right now, like I'm not sure. Oh, brilliant, some more iron. Fantastic. That's absolutely what we want at this stage. And I'm just going to light this area up just in case anything decides to come at me from the darkness. 
um, which, you know, they do, they do. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Oh, speak of the devil, where is that guy? What the heck? He is sniping me from some kind of little window here. I'm not going to take this. Guys, we're going in. We're going in. We're going to fight him. That's it. We bested that skeleton. We showed him what for. I don't know why I'm talking about us like we're a group right now, but apparently we are. There's some more iron around here, but I'm going to go back and get this iron over here because, frankly, it is safer and I only have one torch left. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the iron. Let's get out of here. Let's get it smelting. Let's get some better tools. Maybe even some armour? I don't know at this stage. I don't know what I'm going to be able to spend my iron on. But we know we will be getting more of it. Is it getting dark outside? I'm probably going to have to sleep again. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's make a bed in the darkness. Let's set up our base while we still can. And it's going to be here because this looks like a cave that will hopefully yield a few more resources before we're done with it. There's a couple of little offshoots I want to explore now. Um, so, let's build a base right here. Right here on this stony outcropping of land, surrounded by sheep, we are going to set down our first base. And I am very, very excited for this. <laughs> 